Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I am going to show you how to make an essential oil roller bottle plus share some of my favorite roller recipes. In case you are new here, my name is Marissa. I'm a pharmacist and a holistic health coach, and I share videos on how to live holistically so that you can live a more balanced and healthier life. If you're interested in following along, then definitely consider subscribing. So as I mentioned in my how to get started with essential oils video, there are three main ways that you can use Young Living's oils. You can diffuse them, you can apply them topically onto your skin, and you can also take the Vitality oils internally. Now when it comes to using an oil topically on your skin, some of them require you to first dilute them with a carrier oil, for example, coconut oil, jojoba oil, or rosehip oil. And how much you need to dilute them depends on your preference as well as your age. To know which ones require dilution with the carrier oil, the easiest thing to do is to actually just look at the label on the bottle itself. Now if you don't see it when you're you know, looking at the label, then you may need to pull it back and then take a look. Now if the writing is too small for you to see or you don't see the directions there because you, know, you have like a white label vitality oil, um, then what you would want to do is just go straight to the Young Living website and whether or not it requires dilution is definitely going to be listed there. Even if the oil doesn't require dilution, you can still dilute it, especially if you just feel more comfortable that way or if you have very sensitive skin. Now, if you're wondering whether or not you should even make a roller, my recommendation is yes, okay, just do it. You'll thank me later. Rollers make applying oils topically onto your skin so convenient because you're not constantly needing to like reach for the carrier oil that you want to use and then the essential oils that you want to use and then like trying to combine them, you know, in your hands each time you want to use them, um, which you could totally do that. And that's definitely what I did when I first got started before I bought some rollers. Um, but you know, it can get kind of messy and it's just not as convenient. So I recommend putting in the little time that it takes to make your rollers and then you are all set to go and you don't need to think about it again until you need to refill them. They are also the perfect way to bring your oils with you on the go. So you can leave your rollers in your gym bag, in your purse, in your briefcase, at your desk, at your office, and when you're traveling, especially when you're traveling. They're also just really fun to make because you can make your own oil blends and get really creative with it. So definitely make yourself some rollers. As to where you can apply the roller topically onto your skin, it really just depends on what roller it is and what areas of your body that you want to support. So the most common areas that I see and also use myself are the bottoms of my feet. Um, you can use it on your chest, over your joints, your muscles, your neck, your wrists over your belly and your forearms. Now there is one thing to keep in mind when you are using oils topically on your skin and that is to avoid applying citrus oils topically to areas that will be exposed to direct sunlight. Citrus oils can increase photosensitivity which means that your skin can burn more easily when in direct sunlight. Now at the time that I'm making this video, the recommendation that Young Living has on their website is to avoid direct sunlight or UV rays for up to 12 hours after applying the citrus oil on your skin. Now I've personally never had a problem with this, but I did want to make sure that I let you all know that. Okay, so now let's have some fun and make some rollers together. Here's what you need in order to make a roller. You need the roller bottle, you need the cap and the roller head fitment, you need the carrier oil of your choice. I tend to use fractionated coconut oil or jojoba oil the most, and then the essential oils that you want to put in there. When you're making a roller for an adult, what I like to do is add about 10 drops of each oil into a 10 ml roller bottle, and then fill up the rest with the carrier oil. Now you can add in a little less than 10 drops, you can add in more than 10 drops, um, you know, whatever you wanna do. It's not an exact science, so definitely, you know, get creative with it and play around with it and see what you like best. Um, and you know, you may find that you like, you know, a little more of one and less of another, you know, in a particular roller that you make for yourself. Um, so just use that ratio to help you get started. And then you can also use that ratio to help you adjust the numbers if you have a different sized roller bottle. 
For today's video, I'm going to make a wellness roller for immune support and a happy calm roller for emotional support that would also work really well as like an all natural perfume. This way you guys can see how to make a roller. Now for the rollers and the carrier oil, I just get them right off of Amazon. I find it super convenient and affordable to do it that way. Um, so I have jojoba oil here that I will be using as the carrier oil in both of the rollers today. Um, and then I also have a bunch of rollers that I got just in bulk um, from Amazon. Um, and it comes with everything that you need. Um, but you can also buy rollers off of Etsy. Um, they have a lot of really cute ones there. And then there's also a shop called Whimsy and Wellness that I will, I'll leave all this link down below, um, but they also have a lot of really cute rollers there. Now, sometimes when you get your roller in the mail, sometimes the cap and the roller head fitment is like separate and sometimes they come together um, like all put together already um, so I wanted to share with you guys how to get this thing off because it can be kind of like um, troublesome sometimes um, so when you get your rollers in the mail at least it was for me when you get your rollers in the mail they give you this right here to kind of help you like pull it out pull it out I personally have never had success using that and I find that it just kind of damages the roller head fitment. Um, so I don't like to do that. What I like to do is just get like a clean tissue and then pull it and it seems to always work for me. So anyways, I just wanted to share that because um, if you can't get it off, then you can't make your roller and um, or um, you know, like when you want to refill a roller, you still need to get it off. So anyways. Um, I figured I would share that with you guys so that you can easily get it off and you don't have the problem of trying to figure out what to do. The next thing I wanna mention before we actually make the roller is when you are buying your carrier oil to, if you can, get yourself the one that has the pump because it just makes filling up the, the roller the rest of the way with the carrier oil so much easier. Um, sometimes you can get it with like an actual dropper but it's going to take a little longer than if you just had the pump in order to actually make the roller. So anyways, I just wanted to share that with you guys as well. So for the wellness roller, I'm going to be using three different oils. Um, I've got lemon, I've got thieves, and I also have frankincense. Um, so when it comes to the oil coming out of the bottle, some of them come out faster than others. Um, you'll get to know how fast they come out the more that you use them. So we're just gonna add 10 drops of each oil um, into our 10 ml roller bottle. So I figured maybe I'll put some music over this or whatnot, but I'm not gonna speed it up because I want you guys to actually see how quick it is to make a roller and that it doesn't take that much time. So let's just go ahead. Okay, so that was 11. Okay, now we have the lemon. Okay, and then last but not least is thieves. Good to go, and now we have our, so right now you have just the essential oil in the roller bottle, and now we are going to fill up the rest of it with the jojoba oil. Okay, and now we are going to finish it off with the roller head. So at this point, just snap it in and then you can use it just like that. So now it is all done. That's it, super simple. And you have a wellness roller made. And now you're ready to apply it. For this particular roller, I like to apply it topically on my spine as well as on the bottoms of my feet to help support daily wellness. Okay, and so for the happy, calm, and like perfume roller, I'm going to be using lavender. 
Valor and Stress Away. Um, and we're gonna use 10 drops of each of these oils in the roller. Just a little FYI when it comes to Stress Away because there is a little, there is vanilla in here. Just give it a quick shake before you try to get it out. Um, so again, 10 drops of each. Okay, next up is the lavender. If I can open the bottle. Okay. When it comes to adding the Valor, I like to add it last because it gives the most gorgeous blue color into the roller. Um, it's got blue tansy in here, which is what gives it its gorgeous blue color. So let's go ahead and add in this. I wanna make sure you guys can see this. Okay. All right. So it's got like this gorgeous blue color in there. And now we're gonna fill it up. There you go. And you get your roller head fitment on there, snap it in, and you're good to go and ready to apply. For this particular roller, I like to um, use this on my wrists, my forearms, my neck, and my chest. So that's it, super simple. Um, if you guys would like to see more recipes, then be sure to check out the description box below. I've included recipes for a muscle roller that you can use on sore muscles and areas of muscle tension, a breathe roller, which is great for respiratory support, a tummy roller, which is good for digestion support, an unwind and sleep support roller, as well as a roller for energy support. And there you go, that's how you make a roller. They are super easy and a lot of fun to make, so definitely get creative, have some fun with it. Um, and I also wanted to quickly mention that Young Living also carries um, like a whole line of pre-made rollers that you can just buy, and they even have a whole line of pre-made rollers that are uh, made for kiddos that are age two and up, but adults can use them as well. Um, so you guys can check those out too if you'd like. I'm going to link everything that I mentioned in today's video in the description box below. And if you've been thinking about getting started with oils and Young Living, do it. Trust me when I say that it has been one of the best choices that I've ever made. So click the link below to sign up, grab what you want, and then I will send you a welcome email and help you get plugged into our Facebook groups, which have lots of helpful information and roller recipes and truly like the best community. If you have any questions, then feel free to comment them down below. And if you would like to learn more about oils than just what I have here on YouTube, then make sure to head over to my Instagram page. Um, I share about oils all the time over on there. Just search for Simply Health with Marissa. All right, you guys, so that is everything that I have for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, then make sure to comment down below, give it a big thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.